this election in Georgia is something that's been very important to you, something you've been very vocal about. Tell us, tell us about some of your endeavors. Yeah. So, you know, um, <clears throat> you know, 2020 was a, again, it was a crazy year for most, you know, I was, I was blessed enough to have a, have an insane uh, show come out this year. And with that came an insane platform. And, um, you know, I'd always uh, known, stayed pretty up to date on politics just due to my aunt. You know, she was um, she was a judge, a precinct judge back in Texas. And uh, so, you know, I'd already kind of know how politics and especially politics in the South work, you know, and and what it takes to really get, you know, people to vote and um, and, and and how much, you know, influence can affect that. And, um, you know, I just thought, you know, it was, you know, once once. Black Lives Matter happened, you know, George Floyd, the Black Lives Matter been happening, but you know, you know, it's been put on a on a different spotlight this year, you know, and, and due to George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Aubrey. And I, I just thought, you know, more than protesting, more than, you know, going out to that, because I was out there protesting in LA, more than that, I can I can illustrate with my face and my platform and, and, and my knowledge and what I've learned and share my experiences as a young black man growing up in the South, you know. Um, a, a little bit about what it's like growing up and how it affects me personally and how how moving forward in these in these Senate runoffs can can truly, truly affect real change if we hold people accountable. You know, and I, that's just yeah. kind of what I'm really no, no, absolutely. Um, you know, we just want everybody to know that uh, and we're, and we're so proud of everybody who went to the polls this past November. But um it's still more work to be done you know this is something that that's ongoing this is something that's right. ongoing and as we've been telling people here on the walkthrough this political season is that um yes the national election for the president of the united states is crucial it's important this is probably um one not probably this was definitely one of the most important elections that we had including when we uh were all smart enough to vote barack obama into office mm -hmm. twice you know th those right. are crucial elections too but um you know it's it's more than that it's more than just the president it's it's these judges yeah, it's, it's, these it's it's, it's I, I think i think you know we they don't educate a lot of us especially in, you know, inner city schools and like, in like, you know, some low income schools, which I, I kind of came up with sometimes was, is, is they don't educate you on exactly how you can affect your own change. They just tell you kind of what the branches of government are and kind of what they do. So you're led to believe the executive branch has, has more power than it does, you know? And, um, and I, I think that's, that's, that, that can get you close to fascism. And if you, if you let a one branch of government believe it has more power than the other, you start making different elections more important than other elections, then you start thinking one man and one man can think he has the power. Whereas if you make these like Senate runoffs and these and these congressional elections more important to to the to the basic, you know, voter, if they start to realize like, hey, this is important. We know it sucks to try to come and vote and disagree every year, but this is what's important. It's more important than the presidential election, you know, which just is one branch of government. Then I think you start in, in, inciting real change in young people, and 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 you start educating them on actually what their vote means. You know, ed education is the enemy of of control. If that would, if I were to say that, absolutely. I mean, we 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 seeing it in in real time with these stimulus stimulus checks mm -hmm. uh, voting. How you know they they they're fighting right now. Do we get six hundred dollars? Do we get two thousand dollars? I didn't even get no money from the first stimulus check personally. Right. I have to be no. giving out all of the information, but I didn't even get it. But I I do want, even if I can't get something, uh, my family got some stuff, my friends got right. some stuff, uh, my neighbors, pe people need it. This is right. dire dire circumstances. It's, this it's pandemic. Important to people. It's a, it's important to people, you know, like that that, yeah. that people have what they need. You know, it's like. We we can't we can't be so selfish as to as to live on our own needs and forget the needs of others and and you know some Absolutely. people might be able to make it through another stimulus check or that two thousand they need that two thousand dollars to eat they need it to yeah. be two thousand dollars so it's like you you got to make sure that we're looking up for the interest of the whole no one one million percent man you have a a, a series it's called the talk and um I was I was watching some clips man and. When I tell you guys, this is like one of the most 
honest uh, pieces of content that you're gonna see. Now there was one clip. Was that your parents? Where you was? When you was talking? Those were your parents. There's, yeah. there's this clip, man, uh, and you're gonna have to tell everybody where they could see it. But there's this clip where you're talking to to your parents, and you're telling how um, one of the, the the teachers in school they said they had a nickname for you. It was Buckley, yeah. and uh, which is, is infuriating. Like mm -hmm. your mom, she was ready to get busy. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah. That you know, you don't mess with a black mom's kid, you know, don't mess with nobody, uh, kid, period. But you know, I, I have a black mother and they ready to go to war, yeah. you know, ab about their kids. And then your, your pops, man, it was a very, very emotional uh clip where you told them that you wanted to go out to the protests, it was, it was important. And he's been a part of protests and he's been, uh, felt the, the the wrath of police brutality and that's something that he wants to shield you from and wanted to shield you from and it was such an emotional moment because you could tell that he was reliving the strife that he had and as as black men this is something that we don't want our kids our nephews our little brothers to go through because we've been through it so man i mean it's just you know i remember I remember talking to him after I came back and um, and I was like, it seems like, you know, once every generation, you know, our people have to go through this. Mm -hmm. It's like, and each time it gets something small changes, you know, each time you, you get these, you get small changes and it kind of reflected our, my journey and his journey and like my journey to even get to where I'm at right now in acting. It's like, at nothing, nothing was allowed to be easy. Right. You know, everything, everything I, everything, every like little step I took, every like ground I made up, I've had to give up tenfold, a thousandfold to gain it. And so he, he'd always taught me like, you know, there is no reward without risk, and you have to risk something to get to get a reward to get to get your goal. Something has to be, you know, given up in order for you to gain. That's just the nature of equivalent exchange. So. You know, when he was like, when he, when he didn't want me to go, you know, he was like, I was being selfish. You know, he was like, I was, I was putting my need to, to have you around and make sure you were, you know, to, to, to see you not have to go through that over the needs of our people, you know? And it's like, and it's tough for every parent to like, to put yourself out. Heck, it's tough for me right now. I've been told, you know, I talk about politics too much. I, I post politics too much on my page on my Instagram. It's going to make my followers go down. And I was like, you know, and there was, and there are points where I'm like, maybe, maybe I'm, maybe that's right. You know? And it's like until, but until, you know, until change happens until I infect, I, I who knows who I'm affecting right now, you know, until, until some, until something happens, like there's, I'm here for a reason to do this until, until it's over until it's, I feel like we've completed that goal. And so we, you got You got to be you, man. You, right. you got to be you. Um, uh, success doing these movies and doing these TV series is, is a beautiful thing, you know, especially for a young black brother such as yourself. Uh, we're still fighting to, to get more of us in, into that realm. But, right. you know, when, when you get into it and, and, and success, it's a beautiful thing. But. Uh, sometimes you got to say at, at what cost, you know, like right. if, if if I can't be myself, if I can't speak up for my people, uh, if I can't speak up for my family, mm -hmm. then what's the sense of having this success? What's right. the sense of having this platform? And, you know, what you're doing is akin to what we, we saw athletes, Muhammad Ali, Jim Brown, um, you know, we're seeing it today, LeBron James and, and right. all of the NBA and all of these other great athletes um, that's, that's been stepping up. Um, mm -hmm. We have so many questions for Twitch. I, I know that you're in the middle of production and you stopped by to talk about this, but we have a couple of questions from, from Twitch. We're live right now. Thank you for everybody. Uh, we have Sir Boog 313313. He says, uh, from your perspective, how we how can we use technology 
to even the odds now that it's, it's our turn yeah i mean information controls and um and it's and it's we're in, we're in an age where everything's moving so fast and it's like you have to be on top and you have to know exactly what your what your message is you have to know what you're about to say before you say it you have to be able to connect community and that's the most important thing is how can you connect your message to the people that you need to connect it to and how can those people connect with each other you know we need to believe that there's more of us we need to believe that there's a bunch of us out here willing to make a change and i think it's important that we make sure those groups connect and bring each other up and help each other out you know we have you know we have nba players in these positions right now who have the ability you know to connect to connect these groups you know and it's like it's not everybody's job to do it but you know it's like as long as we can start keeping ourselves connected in each other and we don't we don't how do i say we we don't use technology as a way to 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 hurt and for pure entertainment you know it's like mm -hmm. we we have to make sure we stay together as a people and that we can use we can use our technology we can use our platforms like i'm using mine to to push you know social things that are happening you know it's like every every time you see something you share and it is just a, is enough you know you, you never know who's watching it or who will take it from you and move it to someone else the actions remain the same whether you know why you're getting pulled over or not one thing i was always taught by my father my father would always keep his hands visible I try to have my credentials already accessible so I don't have to reach for anything. Once the police come to my car, have no movements or anything like that, address them by their title. Yes, officer, no officer. In some cases where you're not in the wrong, you don't want to put yourself in a situation where you have to be taken out the car or detained or anything like that. So you can handle those situations in court. You don't ever want to get belligerent with them. Um, you don't ever want to be disrespectful to them. Talk to them with the same respect, pretty much. And it's sad that you have to do that, the same respect that you would have to talk to a judge. We have to stop reacting and we have to become aggressive. I am going to be waged. And when we win the victory, remember to the victim belongs the spoiler. We're going to take it all. It's just, it's just real sad that in 2020 that we, st we still have to have these conversations, civil rights or a Jim Crow type of conversation, but it's a necessity because I do want my son to be prepared when he's, not if, but when he's pre presented with those situations. We continue to see the cry out for the inequities that exist for black men in our community. The impact is death. I remember when Philando Castile, they announced what had happened to him. And I just remember sitting there crying because I thought about my brother. I thought about my nephew. And I thought about my black men friends who are all good people, who could have just been in the wrong place at the wrong time. And I was so scared and sad and felt like I couldn't do anything. And I was angry because I knew that white men, white boys, white families were not going through this. I am a good kid, but like just growing up in America, black kid, we have targets on our back. And I'm actually scared because anything can happen. That can happen to me or any of my peers, just thinking about it, just makes me scared for my life, just thinking about it. I cry, I cry for my son. I cry for my grandsons, my great grandsons, black men all across this country. This is a daily conversation. This is a fear for our black men. And we have seen it. Again, the videos completely continue to play. And the question is, continued ask, what can we do? You know, getting out there and, and, and voting and trying to achieve some type of change is extremely important because this is our future. This is our future. My son, my students, that's our future. And there's nothing wrong with change. Change is something that's needed. This is a plea for help. You know, looking forward to a different 2021.